w- wanting to tell an authentic story, we we kind of like cooked up this idea to to you know film my first elk hunt and just kind of document from never shooting a bow before, um, going to these tack events and just like throwing arrows into trees and rocks and just figuring a lot out. Um, and, uh, yeah, that turned into, um, Sitka coming on board and, and really sponsoring this film, um, that we we ended up calling river. And, um, I set out with uh, Shannon Vandeveer from cold collaborative Great, and just it, stellar human yeah um and we really worked on the storyline and um johnny it was like you know johnny took me on uh, he was the first kill that i saw and and we just really bonded over that so it was only natural that he was kind of kind of be my mentor and um yeah we just set out to i and (laughs) the craziest thing is i johnny calls me he's like hey man like did you put in for montana and I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm, what do you mean? How do you do that? You know? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, dude, you the deadlines tonight. Like you really like, here, I'll help you do it. So we're like, we're on the phone. And so like, we're, we, yeah. So anyway, put in for, for, um, elk tag and I, and I drew first year ever putting in. <laughs> and so like, then it was like real and we were really doing this. And, and then I like, I was already practicing a lot, but then I like really just like cleared my schedule. I mean, what do you, you draw uh, you, you get draw results in what, like April, April. Um, I think yeah, so. It's like yeah. into April, into April. Yeah. And so like I was in Alaska snowboarding when I, when I like found out and I was like, and that was like the end of my season. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I have to cancel everything. So I just like make up excuses like, Nope, busy. Can't do it. Busy. Can't do it. Went to the big sky, um, total archery challenge. And then, um, went to the, um, one in, uh, Utah, it was park city that year. Um, and just learned so much, and yeah, we we set out to make this film, and, and it uh, it was a lot of fun, man. I yeah, yeah, no, that film turned out amazing, because I felt like it told that story really well. Of and you know, Shannon and, and his crew and everything. I mean, they're they're phenomenal what they do and yeah. help and tell that story. But yeah, I thought the I thought the film turned out really good, man. And thank then you. Obviously, being able to see you be able to shoot your first elk was like <laughs> like i don't know i felt like i was there or like along for the journey and at that point i mean when that film came out i had met you knew you a little bit but like not not like great i mean no. we spent a weekend together yeah. at that point but i was i was just like man i felt like i i knew your story and and i feel like people can relate to to that getting into it and then finally having that 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 all come together yeah man thanks like that you know, like I said in the beginning, all of this has just flowed so naturally. It literally feels like I am exactly where I'm supposed to be in life. And, and I mean, if I was to say, like, somebody was asked me, like, what's, what's your biggest regret or, or whatever? Like, I mean, I would have loved to start hunting when I was a kid. You kidding me? I'd probably be pretty good right now. Yeah. <laughs> but like, in all reality, like, that's just not the path that my life took. And, and, I am like at this point in my life where it just, it just felt like inevitably I was going to get here and that hunting was going to be a big part of my life. And, um, making river was so much fun. Um, it was, it, it was stressful. It was stressful when I started making mistakes. I was talking to my brother and I was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm making a film about my first elk hunt. And he was like, Whoa, dude, you're really putting a lot of pressure on yourself for your first one. And I was like, I didn't even think about that (laughs) straight up. (laughs) And then, and then I started making mistakes where like I had a golden opportunity at an elk at 20 yards and he walks right through my shooting lane and I didn't stop him. And there's just so much going on. I just didn't even think about it. I thought about it. Like, as he's like, I'm watching his hindquarters go through my shooting lane and I'm like, well, that blew up really quick. (laughs) And, and then I, and then I had another one where, um, I just had a terrible setup. If I would have taken two steps to my right, I, I, I would have, and this elk would have seen an arrow. Um, but I just, I set up with, with, I mean, trees in front of me. I thought he was going to come into my right, came into my left. I had a pie plate window to shoot through 
and he came into my left and I went to stop him and I stopped him like a freaking grizzly bear, man. I was like, Mew and like and, and, and loud. And he's like inside twenty yards. And the elk just like busts immediately. I, he was probably like, What was that?